What are assumptions and statistical tests? Stay tuned. When we do research, we make assumptions about many things. We assume our participants answered honestly about their age or marital status. We assume that they understood the questions or the tasks correctly. We assume they're wearing pants when they participated in the study. We assume that our professors would properly explain these things so we wouldn't have to look them up on YouTube. If our assumptions are not met, then of course the validity of our study is in question. Now, the same is true for statistical tests. Each statistical test has a set of assumptions that go along with it. And the assumptions are things that need to be true of our data in order for our statistical test to be valid. Now, the assumptions vary from test to test, but often have to do with what the test is designed for. For example, a test designed to test a sample against a known population mean assumes that there is a known population mean to compare against. A test that's designed to measure the same individuals multiple times, sometimes called a within subjects or repeated measures test, assumes that you're measuring the same people from time to time. A test designed to work with nominal data, like a chi-squared, assumes that you aren't trying to measure using a ratio scale, and so on and so on. As an example, you we could take the independent samples t-test, or a t-test designed to compare two independent groups. The assumptions for the independent samples t-test are one, that the dependent variable is measured on an interval or ratio scale. The data is independent. In other words, nobody's measured twice, nobody's in both groups, that kind of thing. There are no huge outliers, uh, that the data are normally distributed, and something called homogeneity of variance, which means Let's break it down. Homogeneity, if something is homogenous, you ever seen homogenized milk at the store? That means they went through and they basically ran it through a process that makes it all, um, all kind of uniform, right? So basically what homogeneity of variance means is it means the variance between the two samples is the same. Now there are ways to test if our assumptions are true. For example, Levine's test is commonly used to check the homogeneity of variance assumption in a t-test. If that assumption hasn't been met, then there is a modified version of the Welch's t-test which corrects for this issue. And in an upcoming video, I'll explain more details about Levine's test and when to use the Welch's t-test. The important thing is that you should always make sure that your assumptions are met. And this is fairly easy to do in most modern statistical software because it usually makes it easy to give you those kinds of assumption tests. So that's the basic idea behind assumptions and statistical tests. For more videos like this, click like, subscribe. We've got more videos on the way. And until then, keep thinking. People assume I'm normal too. Hey, you know what's fun? Pushing buttons. So why don't you push the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, help us grow our channel so we can get the word out and help as many people as possible. Thanks.